Alright YouTubers, welcome back to another episode here on ESGN Net of MLB 15 The Show, Road to the Show with Simon Unger. This is episode 90, wow, 90 episodes and uh, we're still going strong here as uh, we're getting ready for a three game series against Seattle. I see there's a pitch matchup for the first game there, Jamie Garcia versus Ramirez there and we'll see what we can do against them. As they are currently in first place right now in the American League West. Uh, they're leading that one. Of course, we are leading in the East here. And we have a four-game lead over uh, Tampa Bay here. And we're trying to hold on to that lead as much as possible. So we got to try to win some games here out of this uh, series here coming up. Uh, so we're going to be in the Pacific Northwest here. And, of course, Unger uh, has uh, hopefully traveled with his bat here, his hot bat that he's had here as of late. And we'll see what kind of damage we can put on them here in this coming episode. But there you take a look at some of the other standings here. Um, now this video will actually be kind of lengthy today because uh, I want to show you guys some stuff um, when it comes to other team members here on, on, this, on the Blue Jays squad here. Uh, some of you guys have been kind of requesting and want to know uh, what other team, what the other uh, teammates have been doing when it comes to statistics-wise and whatnot. So towards the end of the video of this, uh, once we get done with these series here, uh, these three games. I'll show, go ahead and show you guys those before we go into the All-Star break. And that's one thing Simon is hoping for is to see uh, where the All-Star game is at this year and, uh, not to mention, get into the home run derby. So uh, with the uh, home runs he's hit, what, 34 now for the season, uh, I think he's pretty much a shoe in for that, especially for being in the All-Star game himself. I'll show you guys the latest on that, who's going to go to uh, the All-Star game with him. But there you see uh, there you see 11 and 20 there. Uh, so he's had a five-game hitting streak here, and he has hit pretty well here. We'll see what he can do here with his 34 home runs here already this season. Runs on first and second here. This one's going to be out, flat out there to left, and that's going to be a nice catch there. A little basket catch there from the left fielder there, and that's going to now move runners in now uh, runners in corners now at first and third. So a nice catch there from the left fielder. Now we move on top of the second here. We are up by a run here, and we'll see nobody on board, and we'll see if we try to outrun this one, and no, we do not, and they get us a good play right there, and Unger just cannot believe that uh, the ball got there before he did. Now, top of the fifth here, this is going to be a dribble right from the plate here, and Unger, again, is going to have to try to really put the speed there as uh, he gets thrown out there on that play. He'll only get eight points, but Reyes will move over to second on that play, so... Uh, playing uh, not too good here already. He's 0 for 3 now. The hitting streak's coming. Uh, could come to a hitting end here. But we'll see here. We'll see some little defense here. Nice toss play there. Nice double play. And he'll get 20 points there for that force out there at second. And turn the play there at second to first. So getting that double play there, that'll get them out of the inning. And Seattle's up uh, 5 to 3 here after six innings of work here. So we'll see what Unger can do here in his next at bat. And we'll see if uh, Toronto can uh, try to put some more runs on the board as they still are down by two here. Top of the seventh here, 2-2 pitch here for Unger. Two outs, and we'll see this one goes high. This one goes deep. This one looks like it's going to sell over the wall, and it does. That's a home run right there. That is Simon Unger's 35th home run of the season. And he will now make the score now 5-4 to four here as we are in the top of or the uh, – I should say the uh, yeah the top of the eighth here, and there you see he get 64 points there, and you can see getting some love there from a teammate there, tell him good job. And now uh, all we have to do now is wait for and Carson Owen do the same here with his at bat here. But we'll see a replay here, nice even swing there, takes that ball, drives it, and takes it right out of the ballpark there for a home run. So we'll see here. They'll go ahead and say yeah we're gonna have a pitching change here, and of course. Like I said, uh, in Carson and all, he's going to be up to bat here, so that would be the perfect time to change up your pitcher here, especially when he's throwing 106 pitches at this point in the ball game. Uh, he's pretty much, he, you would have to say he's pretty much done if he gets that already at the century mark here. So 7-4 now is the score here, as we'll see here. Top of the ninth here with two outs. Runner on first here. We'll see what Unger can do. So hopefully keep this rally or this inning going here. This one gets hit out to left, and that one is an easy one for the left fielder as that's the end of the ball game. And the Seattle Mariners win that one. Final score of 7-4. to four. 
try to come back there in that inning, but hey, Simon went after the first pitch there. He seen something he liked, and unfortunately that one went straight to the left fielder's glove there on that play. So Seattle remains still uh, here playing very well here in some baseball. We have now uh, now back on the losing side here as we end up losing the first game again, just like in the last episode. We lost the first series game there in the series. Uh, we played against uh, Kansas City. Now we're doing the same thing here. Hopefully we can turn things around and try to win the final two games here to win the series here and, and especially be on a good note as we go into uh, into the break here. So there you see final score 7-4 there. Seattle wins this one. And Corey R is going to be, I believe, he's named your player of the game. 3-4 for four in that ball game. Two home runs. And I think, I believe, uh, either three or four RBIs in that game. So, Safeco Field here once again. Another packed house course. They're in first place. Why not? And they are getting a lot of support here from the Seattle community. So, there you see. We'll see the pitching matchups here. And it will be Andrew Warner. There you see 18 starts. 8-3 and three there for a season and a 3.59 ERA. So, we'll see what Simon can do here against him. There you see him in his uh, hitting streak. He did uh, move on with that hitting streak there with that home run. Now he's in six games now. We'll see if he can continue that here in this ball game. Top of the first, full count here for him. One out and one runner on board. And that's going to be a walk there. So nice job there for his first at bat. Able to draw a walk there. And that's now going to put runners at first and second here for Edwin Acarcel Known. So we'll see here what he'll be able to do. And unfortunately, he does not do anything as we go to the top of the third here. We'll see here with. Ooh, that was a nasty, nasty swing there. From Unger. Oh, great. We're going to see a replay of this. This is one replay I do want to see, but uh, yeah, that was nasty. Yeah. Nasty. That was nasty throw. And a nasty swing there from Unger. Now, top of the fifth here. We're up by a run here. We'll see this one dribble past the shortstop there. That's going to be a nice single there for him. And hopefully, can get a rally going here as they are still up by, they're up by a run here, but they want to try to see if they can put some more insurance runs here. And try to put away the uh, Mariners here early. Now, top of the seventh here, tied one all here. We'll see Unger. He'll try to see if he can outrun this one. And no, he is unable as he is gunned down there. Nice play there from the shortstop there. But they are able to hold on to the lead with a one run lead there. Cueto gets his 10th win of the year. Blue Jays win this one 2 to 1. As you see their latest standings there, three and a half games now ahead of the Rays here. And we got to try to see if we can try to turn things around. Unger one for four, or excuse me, one for four, three in that ball game with that walk and the strikeout. So now King Felix is going to be on the mound here. There you see 19 starts, seven and five for him with a 2.55 ERA. And of course, this is going to be a tough task here, especially when you're going against him. So we got a good pitcher here with an excellent batter. We'll see how this will, these two worlds will collide. Unger's going to pop this one out to left. That's going to hang off the bounce off the wall out there. That's going to get a double there, and that's uh, also going to drive in a run. So King Felix gets uh, hit on and ends up giving up a run there as uh, now the uh, Toronto is now coming back here in this ball game here with that hit. We'll see a replay here. Felix uh, puts that right there, right where Unger wants it, and if it was up to about another two or three inches, that would probably have been out of the ballpark. But we'll see here. We'll see we're down by two here. Felix... Throws that one, and he is doing a good job here as he's just keeping that ball on the ground there, making sure Unger swings that after those, and uh, making sure he stays uh, here within the infield. We'll see the replay there from show motion. Nice uh, delivery there from, of course, King Felix there. Great job, as always, in uh, in real life and in video games. Always putting up good numbers there. Top of the fifth now runs uh, first and second here. 4-2 still the score. One out with a 1-0 pitch here. Unger will get underneath this one. This will fly out to deep left center field there. That ball is going to get caught at the warning track there. And the runner will have to re come back to first. So, King Felix again. That time a little scared that time. Sanders gets underneath that one. Scared of, I'm sure, Mariner fans there. But they were able to keep the ball in the park. Now, top of the seventh here. Runner, No runners on board with two outs. Unger, he's going to run this one out. That's going to be a nice single right there. And again, hoping to start a rally here as they really need to try to get this win. And unfortunately, it does not happen. 
Mariners win this one 4-2. King Felix gets his eighth win of the season. Morrow gets his fifth loss of the year. And Unger is 2-4 uh, for four in that game. A, a double RBI and a run scored. Uh, batting average now at 389. So we'll see here that uh, we got uh, what we got 1,112 points here. We're going to try to use these and try to you know uh, see where we, where we can, areas that we need to work on. Of course, trying to work on some defense here. So as you see there, we're just uh, trying to put these rest of these points here and get ourselves here in a spot here. That we can uh, use these points and we're gonna, and that we can uh, use up all of them up so we can get ready for uh, the second half. So there you see, there we are at uh, at the uh, end of the first half of the season with a 58 and 37 record there. Just three games ahead of the Rays. There you see the Red Sox 7, uh, Orioles 11, and Yankees at 13 and a half. So... We're looking good here. Could be better here as we get ready for the, uh, like I said, the, the next half here coming up. But we've got All-Star coming up. Uh, we'll take a look here now. I said we were going to show you guys. Uh, some of you guys wanted to see the uh, what uh, the other guys on the team were doing besides Simon there. And just look at some numbers there. Not going to get really into them right now. Of course, just uh, there you see some of Simon's numbers. Uh, there's something at bats there. He has 360 already there for uh, the season for this first half and there you see Cole Rasmus he's been uh, kind of been uh, as cold as ice really uh, kind of sub -arc like sub arctic I guess you could say uh, with his at bats um, I've been looking at some of his numbers uh, actually prior to this probably about the last every single episode I played I've kind of looked at his numbers and a couple other people's numbers and his numbers kind of came down some. He was actually pretty, uh, he was red hot at the beginning of the season there, hitting home runs uh, left and right. But just uh, for whatever reason right now, he's uh, slumping right now. And hopefully he can turn that around. There you see the doubles there. You see Milk Cabrera with 27. There you see Unger with 21 there. So he's in third uh, there on the team. Uh, we'll see triples here. Of course, Reyes there with seven. And Unger, he has one right there. So nice job there for him. Uh, Milk Cooper also has one, and uh, just overall, just a great, um, just overall, just I mean, numbers wise, we look pretty good here. You see Unger with 35 home runs. Uh, Edwin Carcinella is kind of weird. Um, he only has 21 right now. He's the power, you know, the cleanup guy, the power hitter, and of course Unger, I guess uh, you could say, is taking those uh, hits from him, uh, those opportunities for home runs there. Uh, so he's, you know, hungry getting the good pitches that he wants and whatnot. Uh, not to say that uh, Edwin Carcinella is not doing the same, but uh, he's just not, you know, going out there um, and uh, really doing damage there because he really don't have to do much because uh, a lot of times Simon's there already and uh, he's already cleared the bases there for him. So uh, we'll take a look here. We'll actually show you even some of the pitchers there, uh, what they're doing right now. There you see the stolen bases there and, of course, so we haven't stolen any bases with Simon, and that's what we're trying going to try to do here in the second half. Here is try to really use Simon Unger when stealing bases and uh, going home and all that type of stuff. Here, uh, try to see what we can do with him on the base pass. Here, try to get his speed up as much as possible, which is uh, pretty much to the max right now. Uh, we'll have to see uh, what we'll do here uh, in the second half with him. Because uh, he bats third and whatnot, and so far, of course, they haven't really asked me yet if I if I want to move him up in the order or not. Um, but I guess that won't happen until really when Reyes either retires or he gets traded, which I don't see that happening anytime here soon. So we'll see uh, that uh, just on, on base percentage there for that uh, for for Simon there looked pretty good right there. Of course, now we're looking at the uh, hitting uh, versus lefties and righties there. And uh, pretty even right there. Uh, pretty close numbers right there for Simon. Uh, and then you see his home and away, what he's batting. Again, very, very close, very similar. Uh, so he's, like I said, he's, oh, overall, I mean, he's having a good year here. I uh, just wish the team would do the same and just uh, pick up, um, you know, just get, get going here and, and start playing some really good baseball here. Uh, offensively, defensively, uh, when you know we're doing great there. Just when it comes to pitching, and that's what we're getting to right now. Showing you guys some of the pitching right now. 
pitching has not been the best uh, for us. Um, you know, Coitos has his moments. Hamels, he's yeah, he has his moments also. Uh, but yeah, we really got yeah, hopefully, uh, uh, hopefully, maybe during uh, you know going to the second half here. Hopefully, we can make some moves here. Maybe there's a free agent or. Well, yeah, free agent, or maybe there's some teams out there that want to move a guy uh, when it comes to pitching. Uh, hopefully, we can, you know, uh, have the money and the cash and whatnot, or maybe in personnel that we, you know, some prospects that we have. Hopefully, we can um, do some will and dealing with some teams to get some decent, uh, some well, I didn't say decent, so get some improve our pitching, uh, make it even better. Because um, right now, I mean, we're just. Uh, I don't know. Some of the guys are just kind of lost days ago right now with pitching, and uh, I mean after you know, you know playing uh, you know so many games, you know playing what uh, let's see April, uh, yeah April May June July. So about probably about three and a half months of baseball. Yeah, your arm's gonna feel like a noodle. Uh, but yeah, I mean we still got a ways to go. Just because we we do well the first half uh, doesn't mean we have to slack off the second half because our lead is not big enough. But uh, right now, it's just showing the awards right now of what we could, if the uh, season ended today, what we would have. And there you see him up for the Hank Aaron Award. He's actually up for quite quite a few awards here. I think he's even up for a Golden Glove and a Silver Slugger, along with a batting title. So that's, if he, you know, plays well, keeps playing well as he has in this uh, first half, um, he's going to be bringing home uh, a lot of hardware <laughs> uh, to put on his mantle. I don't know what, um, I don't know where he's going to put all that stuff at, but... Uh, hopefully his house is, you know, he has a mantle that's big enough for all those awards because he's going to bring home quite a bit. But there you see, uh, before we end the episode here, we'll show you guys some of the all-star voting right now. And if I'm not mistaken, I think Simon has the most, um, <coughs> excuse me, uh, I think he has the most, yeah, votes, 109, or, excuse me, uh, 905,000 votes right there. So he has the most votes right now. In the major leagues here, in all-star voting right now uh, for the American League, we'll take a look here at the National League. There you see, uh, got a couple guys there: Buster Posey, uh, Goldschmidt. Right now, I think he has the most. Oh no, actually Pedro Alvarez there has the most uh, with his uh, Pirates there. There you see some other Pirates going on with them there. But there you see, we had, like I said, we lose the series there, two games of uh, two games of one. And uh, we're only able to win that second game there. Came close to that third game, but, uh, of course, King Felix there. I mean, what can you say? A guy can he can pitch a gym there. So, uh, when we come back, you guys, we'll have uh, the – we'll see if we're in the home run derby, which I'm pretty sure we are. And then, of course, the all-star game itself coming up. So, if you guys enjoy the video, please leave a like. Also, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and check out other great series here on ESGNNet. Not to mention, you guys can follow us on uh, social media for the latest news on when the videos are coming out or um, any other types of news. Uh, you guys can catch all that on um, Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr. The links are down below in the description. And I'd just like to th say thank you to all the people that have uh, subscribed to the channel, supporting the channel, getting the word out there about ESGNNet. Thank you guys so much and continue uh, watching the channel and continue supporting the channel uh, there social, on social media and so, so much more. Uh, but as always, keep yourselves healthy, and I will see you guys next time.